today we are in Gosu, the capital of the Ahafo region, where together with the Regional Coordinating Council, District Assembly leaders, the traditional authorities, we launched the regional program, the WASH program for the region. It is an exciting moment for us because in 2017, we began an initiative in the Esutifi North District, which is one of the six districts of the Ahafo region, piloting an idea of aligning partnership, developing a common vision, and working together to provide universal water, sanitation, and hygiene services to everyone by 2030. We are already in the district. We started with Asutifi North with water quality monitoring, ensuring that the water points provided, the quality is monitored and people get access to save water. So far, this program is, is, is good because as we try to enroll more water systems, like we have the lunch for three districts, we know that a lot of water systems will be coming up, new water points will be drilled, and we are also ready to monitor the quality for them. We've been working in partnership with all the stakeholders to see how we can drive the initiatives forward. Now, a bit of safe water, any uh, assembly, no, any traditional council, no, a partner, you know. You say, Jumedia, Umbedi, you know, Abua. As I say, you know, meeting me, I can say, about 95% of Kenyans, my dear, you know, you're connected with sa new water system. And you know, as I say, no, I'm not going to be a Based on the success that we've achieved in the Stephen North District, we've been able to scale this process by supporting three more districts to come out with wash master plans and then also the other two to be able to provide, to have wash master plans. The vision is to integrate this under the leadership of the Regional Coordinating Council into a regional program. This is going to be a unique program, a program where we have district assemblies coming together. All the partners are excited about the program and we are now gearing ourselves towards uh, uh, implementation. And the regional program is for us to have what I call maybe uh, a three-one uh, approach so that we have one regional wash program, we have one implementation mechanism, and we have one m &E system. In that case, all the three ones are working. So at the end of the day, there's the regional level leveraging our, on our mandate to monitor, evaluate, and coordinate the implementation of programs of this assembly. We are going to leverage on our mandate to ensure that the wash master plans that have been created are implemented to the detail and are monitored and reported on to all the stakeholders. This particular program, in fact, it's going to help us uh, a lot. It is something that is uh, going to help us uh, achieve uh, the goals that uh, we've, uh, we've set uh, for ourselves for the next seven uh, years. Uh, looking at the plan, the need is great. And our focus is going to be in the city for three uh, years. But we, we think and we hope that we will get some additional funding to roll it out across all the uh, districts in the city of uh, uh, Ahafo region so that we can have the investments across board so we don't have some lagging behind. We need a lot of resources to get the work done because to have the assemblies commit resources to co-fund the projects is, is one big thing because assemblies mostly rely on the government for, for funding. Even though they're able to generate some internal funds, it is not that much. So we, I will call on uh, other donors and other development partners interested in making sure that everyone everywhere gets access to clean and safe drinking water. 
comes on board to enable us achieve the SGD goal six, which uh, seeks that we don't leave anyone behind in terms of water, sanitation, and hygiene services. You know, when there is a program, what makes it successful is the commitment of the leaders. So I will urge the DCs, MCs, and their uh, team to show commitment to the program to ensure its success. The assembly, I must say, is highly committed to the initiative and we'll do whatever we can within our means to help achieve SDG 6 uh, by 2030. So we are calling on all partners who want to work with us, who wants to contribute to the achievement of SDG 6. We need all partners on board so that together we will all move in tandem to see how we can get to the dreamland together. With today's event, the Regional Coordinating Council with the support of all stakeholders, are poised for immediate rollout of the program, geared towards strengthening local watch systems that transform lives in the Alpha region.